Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Alright, so I've been running around with these Supremium uh, sharpening kits for a while now and I haven't been, I haven't upgraded my pick, so I'm gonna start the episode off with that. Uh, I made four of them. Two for me and two for Tren. Uh, so we'll upgrade my Silk Touch and we'll upgrade my Fortune 3 to Fortified Supremium. Yeah, because these Supremium uh, sharpening kits, you make them with ingots, which I smelted down and poured out into sharpening kits. The uh, Supremium ingots come from the Supremium Essence that we got from Killing the Wither. So uh, the Supremium Essence, what you do is you take the tier before it, which was... Oh man, what was the... Uh, mystical... It is the blue one, Superium. Sup Superium turns into Supremium. Okay, yeah, so you take the previous one, and then you do this to it. And you do do that to two of them, and then smelt it, turn it into a sharpening kit. It's that easy. So yeah, I've been putting that off. The other two are for Trin. Uh, yeah, I guess while we're on it, uh, let's start the episode off with making some nether stars. I have the mob farm has been running. Let's grab all the skulls, all the sulfur, all the string, and all the ender pearls, and put them back in our system. I probably am, yeah, I emptied it uh, when I got home before starting the stream. Uh, I got another wither skull, uh, wither trophy, so. We're getting more skulls from the trophies as well. These trophies are super rare, by the way. I've only had two, and I've been running the uh, the mob farm non nonstop, which uh, I have to turn the game on and off because I think there's invisible zombies uh, in the mob farm, which are that can't be killed and that go towards the cap on how many mobs can be in one uh, chunk, so it slows down everything by a lot. Uh, yeah, no trophies. No trophies uh, yet. So let's go back to, I would say, the sorting facility. Oh, and let me put my two picks back. Now that they have red tips on them, that's pretty sick. All right, wither skulls. Wither. Wow, yeah, I've, I've gathered a lot. So let's just grab all of them. And then... Go to the uh, the wither killer, the wither cage, wither cage killing box. There's a lot of mobs there. Let's see, sleep on top of the tree. Perfect. And then I'll let the sunlight deal with them while I put this away real quick. Let's see. I have this peach jam in here for Trin. I figured out what my problem was with the space station. I uh, claimed too many trunk loading spots, so I had to deselect a few from here so that I could select them in space. Really dumb mistake, but uh, at least I fixed it. I was really worried that uh, I wasn't going to be able to trunk load the space dimension. But yeah, the Void Ore Miner going crazy. And they're all saw me on top of this tree, and they're all coming after me now. Sorry, buddies. You can all come back. All right, so I should... Okay, no, I don't. Put these in here. I thought I had soul sand in there as well. So let's grab some soul sand. Grab some of this. some soul sand in there as well. Let that wither killer go. And 
I'll, I'll just let that go because I've already tested it. It works. That'll generate some nether stars for us. Uh, what I wanted to continue working on was going towards Flux Network. So let's see. We were working in the basement. Man, I guess it doesn't matter how far away I am. It'll still show me the life bars of the withers as long as they're going. All right, so I built another carpenter. And I've already liqui liquefied a bunch of coal uh, so we can get right to it. Uh, grab some buckets. Uh, let's do, I think, five. Let's grab five buckets. And then let's put those buckets in here. Guess it'd be quicker if I just bucket bucket one bucket. Alright, so we were working on, let's check my bookmarks, I deleted some of the bookmarks. Crafting core, we were working on a crafting core. So we need these crystalline components we already made. I need one, two, three, four, and then a fifth pedestal, so I need five pedestals. That's 2,500 uh, liquefied coal, so we already have enough in there. We need blocks, ingots, and slates. Like that. And, oh wait. Whoa, where am I going? Yeah. One, two, three, oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. Wow, I was way off. Oh, and then yeah, we can take accelerate. Five. I guess I was wrong with the coal. My math might be wrong today. Awesome, so we got that. And let's take this out for right now. We need one pedestal and we need five. And then for the crafting core, we're also going to need two osmeridium. Osmeridium, advanced metallurgic fabricator, iridium and osmium, super simple. Iridium, I'll use the industrial craft for now because I don't want to process any, and osmium. And let's go check out new mechanism. How are we on fluids? Dude. Okay. Yeah, fluids are still running perfect. Wonderful. The two reactors are empty, but I don't want to deal with cyanide or plutonium right now. I have a ridiculous amount of tiny piles of plutonium. That and that. And then let's get you tick accelerated. Or it would be this unit. I hope I didn't tick accelerate the wrong thing yesterday. Is it though? I don't know, maybe because it's a multi-block it doesn't want to tick accelerate that fast, but luckily for us we only need, uh, what was it, two or three? We also need the uh, Chris Crystal Teen. There we go. Grab these three. And let's head back to the basement. And the withers are still going at it. I think I put a lot more than 64 in this time. Hopefully I don't pop outside and then have like 30 withers running around destroying the base. I guess that's 
kind of, uh, what's the word, irresponsible of me not to watch the machine. One, two, and then we need the, oh, did I make one pedestal too much? Oh, well, I guess I can't count today. Like that, and then we need five buckets. One, two, three, four, and five. Making the crafting core, which I'm super excited about. Yeah, we need the crafting core and we need one pedestal. Let's ditch the rest of this stuff because we don't need it now. And then, just because I'm kind of nervous now, let's make sure the withers aren't flying around causing problems. Yeah, no, my design's, my design's good. Let me check something else though. Oh, did we get here just in time? Cool. Yeah, I, yeah, it filled up. We need to do a storage crate. Oh, and I can't put it in the ender pouch. Like that. Oh, and I cleaned out my ME system. Uh, of like all of the random one, two, three piece and the armors and all that jazz. Everything that was clogging the system. And I just threw a bow in. Stuff like this these this bow like takes up a, uh, an item slot, of course. Trash can, get out of here. And then put the bucket where it belongs. Let's see, is there's oh my god. I almost forgot about Did it really destroy that one block down there, or did I forget to fill it in with grass? Or no, yeah, like I I hit I, I break this so that I could access the system. My B. Alright, so this definitely I need to change this to a uh a storage storage chest. I don't want to get any of these nether stars lost. I should have yeah, I got a storage. Cool, and let's grab some more soul sand. And I need this guy. Get rid of you. And put you, and are you still set? Insert. Cool. And let me put you back where you belong, and drop you guys in there. Cool. I'll let you do your thing. This creative flight sometimes does not want to go. Oh yeah, so I have the perfect place. So the uh, the draconium takes a ridiculous amount of power to make turn it into charged draconium. So let me grab I think it's two blocks. Uh, it takes a ridiculous amount of power to make the charged draconium. But what's great is the fusion reactor that we just got done building, it's doing what? 2.2 million RF? And I'm using an infinite power cable, you know, like infinite power. So let's do this. I hope it can. I hope it can be up one. I'll do you. You should be getting the full 2.2 million now. <laughs> yeah. Pedestals zero. And I'll put you up on one, because I don't know if you need to be in the same. Pedestal's one, okay? Okay, where do you go? Does it need to be physically attached to it? No. Charged draconium. One pedestal. Crafting core. 
draconium block. Where does the second one go, though? Oh no, really? Come on, D-Day. I'm always underestimating this stuff. Do I still have some cryo flux duct? Lag spike? Check the system. Nope. Let's see if it just physically needs to be next to it. Maybe it needs to touch them. Which is weird because it says pedestals one. One. Right? Crafting core? Crafting core? No. Oh, God. So uh, it was a little bit simpler than I thought it was going to be. You just right-click the top. I thought this was an actual crafting unit. You had to put it in. Uh, okay, so perfect. That's going off now. Not enough power. It is taking 2.2 because it's infinite. It is taking 2.2 million RF a tick. Make and charge draconium. Cool. Good enough for me. That thing's gonna do it. It's just gonna take longer, uh, the shorter or the less power you have for it. So crafting core, A, we're done with you. Okay, we're done with charged draconium. We need to make the octatic capacitor, which will come from the charged draconium. Ferroboron and vibrant, let's get that ready. Arrow. Make a hundred of you. Vibrant. We got we have vibrant alloy. And then double layer capacitors. We have one. Where's the other one though? Or does the craft only make one? Craft only makes one. Basic capacitors, do we? Oh, nice. Double layers, there we go. So that'll be that for the octatic. Nice. We need to make the dimensional trend see. Oh, we need two octatics. All right. So we need two more of the double layers. So we need three more of the basic capacitors. Oh goodness, we need an HV capacitor. We need an MV capacitor. Yes! Lucky! And the double layer capacitors. No, not lucky. We still need one more. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So let's see. Do we have... Ah, okay. We need an LV capacitor. Then we need the MV capacitor. MV capacitor. Then we need the HV capacitor. Okay, and then we need the double grains of infinity. Okay, so we need... Let's do this while I'm at it. Slingshot, freaking laser, freaking laser beam. All right, 
So the space starter. Yeah. Fire starter. What is that? Iron nuggets? This thing is dirt cheap. So fire starter. I know we've gotten range collector from quest reward. Uh, ender chest. Should we put it into an ender chest? Should we make an ender chest just for this? I'm asking myself this while I'm making it. Oh, are we out of blaze rods? That would be a crime. Oh, we're out of <laughs> we're out of blaze rods. I really have to go use one of the drops of evil and grab a blaze spawner from the nether and throw it into the mob farm. Been lazy about that. So we can do this with uh, the chest for right now. Storage. Yeah, I'm not gonna be cheap. And then yeah, we have item conduits. So hmm. Let's do... I'm trying to think, what's the quickest way to bedrock? Nah. Hello, questing ram. Later. Alright. I haven't been down this path in a long time. The Void Ore Miner makes manual mining completely ir irrelevant now. And yeah, I've we rain mined the ground. So yeah, let's just put it right here. Fire starter. Always on. Range collector. And I need an item conduit. and the storage crate. And then you're going to be extract, always active, and you're going to be insert, always active. And then I'm guessing you need power. Yeah, probably. Do I have any power cells in here? Nah. I wish I had flux network up so I could repurpose one of the, the power cells. Power. Cell. Power cell, power cell. Well, we have a ridiculous amount of uh, the items that we need to make this. So you're going to be output and you're going to be linked. And now you're going to make fire, fire starter. And I think if I leave to let all items through, an empty blacklist can be used. To let no items through, an empty whitelist can be used to configure certain items. Yeah, I'll just. I'm pretty sure if I, how if it says whitelist, blacklist at the top, it says to let all items through, an empty blacklist can be used. So I'm just gonna give this a second. Thank God it's the weekend, right? You given me anything yet? I just need one grain of infinity. There we go. Oh. It flew towards me, but... Oh, and then let me check and see. Claim chunks? Am I? No, oh, I'm not even in a claim chunk. So, like, what would the claim? What would the chunk be, though? Dang! Really? Yeah. No. Let me take that one. And hmm. Ah. 
Come on, buddy. Okay. Alright, I'll let you do your thing. And then I'll fix that later. I put it right in between two chunks. Uh, where were we working? We were working at New Mechanism, right? I need... We were making... What were we making? We were making capacitors. We need more of these. We need more of these. Now we have two more of these. And... We need... Oh, which, which, which one was that? The energetic. Let's make a hundred a year. All right, double. I got four. Cool. Octatic. Gonna need four. Octatic. We need two. We already made the ender crystal last episode. Electrical steel block. We have the ender resonator. I had to throw that one in here because we didn't have room. There's the ender crystal. Grains of infinity. We need to make our first quantum entangle border, which honestly I should have made a long time ago. I don't have any of the refined obsidian. I thought I just got done making that. Osmium compressor, refined obsidian, and osmium. Two. Okay. Refined obsidian is pulverized obsidian with the diamond. Pulverized obsidian. And we are going to mechanism. And then the diamond one. And let's tick accelerate you. And then we can take you straight to this guy with osmium. And we can drop you guys in here. What is that? Liquid osmium. Hey. We only need nine. And intricate I should have, matter beamer. Wait, before I do this, I do have a matter beamer already. What are the middle ones again? Intricate circuit, dude, I totally made these. Okay, good. It's about to say, why are you not counting those? And we need a teleporter. We need to make the middle item. Teleportation core. We need to make a teleporter. Can this thing do anything on its own? I always find it weird when you make cool looking things, but like they're only a component in something else that's cool. Ah, oh, I already had one. a bummer when you hit plus. Oh, well, I need to make more quantum entangle porters anyway, because I want to transfer the mechanism gas so that I can start doing, uh, or quadrupling. I want to transport the mechanism gas that way to the space station. So what's cool is I think that was our last quest. Look at that! All of mechanism is now done. Cool. So that's a landmark for me. I'm not gonna accept any of the loot quests anymore. They're they're jacking up way too much room uh, in in my ME system. So I'm going to take that as a successful stream uh, and let's continue because I know we need the uh, quantum entangle porter so that we can put it towards the dimensional transceiver. So all we're waiting on is the charged draconium electrical steel block we need four i don't think i have that in a compactor oh actually i do 
support. So let's go back to new mechanism and see if the, those charged draconium blocks are done. I mean, I would hope it'd be quick because it's getting all of the power from, uh, yeah. That looks like it's done, right? Open hand. Thank you. Nice. You know what I should do? Let's put another one on. Right there, and now we know that you just right click it. Let's put another one on, and then let's do this, guys. Dimensional trends. Oh no, Actotic. And then let's hold on to him first so we get the quest. That's how it's done. Dimensional transceiver. And what sucks is I don't even know what this thing does. Transports items, fluids, and power wirelessly across any distance and between dimensions. So is this really just the Ender IO version of a quantum entangleporter? I don't know, like which one works better? So it says items, fluid, and power, but it doesn't say gas, and the quantum entangleporter does gas. But then the quantum entangleporter is required for this thing. So is it a downgrade? But dimensional transceiver was a quest. Perfect. Where were we? Ender IO? Yeah, there's a dimensional transceiver. We made the sag mill and the slice slice and slice and splice last time. Got the octatic. These things are pretty cool. I wanna make these eventually, but. I want to work towards uh, making the flux network. So now we can go back to the basement where our sag mill is. Let me check one thing. Can do this while we are here. Do a little bit of uh, funsies. Let's light the ground on fire. Let's toss in our baby dragon egg, which I got from an underground dragon. Dragon egg. And I got walls, because I'm not sure if the cockatrice attacks other entities, so I really don't want to be like baby egg hatches, baby dragon hatches, and then the cockatrice kills it. That would really, probably really set me off. But we'll let him cook for a while. He'll be a baby dragon for us for a little, for a little bit, in a little bit. Uh, let's jump to Sagmill and let's do this. Boom! Thirty-two flux cores. That's what I was really hoping for. So now we can get rid of the quantum entangle porter. It keeps wanting to write. Get rid of the quantum entangle porter, the dimensional transceiver, octatic. Uh, we can get rid of the chassis. We got flex cores. We need. What do we need now? We need. Flux blocks, A. We need a flux controller, A. We need flux, we need one flux plug, A. And we need a bunch of flux points, A. Perfect. So we'll do that. And the first thing that I'm going to do, because if you look up the, uh, the flux cores, uh, with one flux core, you can make four flux cores. And if I run out of flux cores to make more flux cores, I'm going to have to make another dimensional transceiver. So I'm going to take one. And let's see, where should I hide it? I don't want to put it in the ME system just in case I... Uh, I'll just put it in my bag. It should be safe in here, right? As long as it's not in the ME system, I won't accidentally shift click and use all of my flux cores. And as long as it's in here, it should be fine. So let's start making our flux network. I'm so, so excited. 
I need a flux controller. So we need one, two, three, four, five flux blocks. So we need five flux blocks. So we need one, two, three, four, five, 25 flux. Pillar of black, black quartz, 32. One, two, three, four, five. Flux blocks, flux controller. There's our flux controller. Wow, we are running out of cores fast. So let me do flux. I'm being very careful. Let me make a stack of this. And then make a bunch of those and a bunch of those. Okay. Now we're, we're getting a good amount of flux cores. I'm slowing down just a little bit so I don't make any stupid mistakes. We need we need one flux plug, so we need one more flux block, so we need a good amount of flux. I'll do another stack. <clears throat> we need a flux block, and then we need a flux plug. Cool, we got one flux plug, and then we need flux points like a mofo for days. Nice, 13 flux points for removing energy, for adding energy, and then that manages energy. So now that we have this, let's go hit up new mechanism. And this is what I was working towards. Let me break all of this down real quick. That will make, it, it'll take the uh, the Void Ore Miner offline for right now. But now that we have unlimited power, comes unlimited responsibility, right? <laughs> so let me stick a flux plug on this unit real quick. I think two outputs should be fine, right? Put a flux core here. Whoa. Oh, it paused. That scared me. So we got this bad boy here. Flux plug. And then we don't have a network yet because I have not put down the flux controller yet. So let's put down the flux controller here. That sounds good. And then please select a network. Name, priority, transfer limit, enable limit, tr enable limit false. Wireless charging, enabled. Enabled, enable limit, I don't want a transfer limit. Name. D-Day. Or should I just keep my emote? I think I'll just do my emote. Uh, true. Left hand, true, true. Network connections. Statistics, allowed players. 4444. Four, four. We'll add trend. Maybe later. Debug, edit network, create new network. And let's, yeah, let's name the network my emote. Access, public, public's fine. Allow conversation, I don't know what that means. Uh, RF, oh, the color. The color. Let me do something real quick on Google, really fast. 
RGB RGB Let's do R 47 32 and 66 that is not the color I want. All right, let's go. That sounds more like it. I remember this number now. 230. 230, 250. Yeah, because I have a thing about divisible by uh, 5. That's white, yo. Oh, I just accidentally found cyan. 255. 240. Oh, I found magenta now, too. And what? 245? Why does it keep changing to white? Blue, let's see what, if I remove, if I go 200, okay, that's getting closer, 150, that's a little bit too much red, 170, that's closer to the color that I wanted, I'm just going to go with that, uh, let's do 30, Does the green even change anything? Oh, there's lavender. That's more of a gray, though. 50? 50 looks nice. I kind of like it, like it being brighter. 75? 25? Mm, that's good. I like purple. Purple's my favorite color. Uh, why is it giving me this now? Didn't I just do this? Wait a second, did I hit escape? I could have sworn I just hit it. So let's do this again. No. There we go. We're gonna go public, we're gonna go RF. We're gonna do the 130. And I did, what, 25? And 130? See how bad my memory is? Was it 130? 150? 150 sounds better. And then sh create. Ah. I guess it just, mm, Just give me this. Everything is fine. Transfer limit, false. Okay, so it's unlimited. Wireless charging enabled. And now my flux network, yeah, is purple. And my flux plug can now be connected to this. Yeah, yeah. All right, input, zero. Hmm. Wonder if it's inputting zero. Oh, wait. Enable limit false. I want, I'm wondering if it's input zero because nothing's pulling from it right now. Type forge energy. RF. I'm pretty sure it's working. Network statistics controllers. Maybe because it's not plugged into anything. Maybe that's why it's not working right now. We did get another uh, charged zirconium block, though. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
And then, yeah, like, while I'm here. You and... Ugh. You and you. Thank you. Alright, so, flux point. I guess I could bring it down one, too, as well, if I wanted to. But let's go mechanism. And let's hook up... You. Bad boy. And you can be... My pride and joy first flux plug. Like that. And then you can connect to the network. There you go. Enable limit false. Output zero. Okay. Wow! <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, those speed upgrades? Those are no joke. I like. I, I don't even have full speed upgrades. They're not even full speed upgrades. Some of them are like half of them are accuracy upgrades. The speed upgrades are what make it crazy. Wow. Are you serious? Seven hundred and eighty thousand RF a tick. Oh my god! It was not getting anywhere near that much. I hope my. I hope it's not gonna like totally trash the ender pouch now. Wow, 780,000 RF a tick. That is obscene. The mod spotlight on the, the Void Ore Miner did not. It didn't say anything over 100,000. Gee. Gee. Wow. So we got charged Draconium. Now we have uh, advanced power cells that we can repurpose for other things. So, like, yeah, I guess I can keep the power cells that are on the... Uh, the nuclear craft fusion reactor, I can keep them there and have the mechanism fusion reactor just powering the nuclear craft fusion reactor, kinda. Guess that kinda makes sense, cause, I mean, 2.2 million into the flux network, that is gonna be great for now. And now I can use these flux points on the space station when I wanna uh, expand over there. I'll put these back, and I'll put the, uh, advanced power cells up. I'll put the charged draconium up for now. I'll put the flint and steel away. Let's see, we upgraded to smooth criminal. Or, I mean, yeah, I named it smooth criminal a long time ago. We upgraded the picks to supremium. Wireless charging is awesome. I can see in the bottom the wireless charger, when I open it, it uses RF. And when I search for something, it's supposed to use RF. And now it's blinking because the wireless charging from uh, the Flex Network is charging all of our stuff. So I think that will also cover the charge porter. Uh, so I don't need the Flex Capacitor anymore. And wow. Uh, oh, it's charging the Flex Capacitor too. I wanted to see how much of the 62 million I've used since making it, but it charged it. <laughs> Bummer. So now we can put the flux points into our bag, diamond backpack of all the stuff that I use when I'm building and put this back in our tool bag and then uh, let's see I still have some time let's look at something that I wanted to make a couple of episodes ago alright empowered diamantine ender casings did I get more of these empowered diamantines single battery? Can I make a single battery? Let's see, battery, do I have one in my inventory already? I do already have one. It just does not want to get pulled in. Oh, and it's charging it because of the flex network. Teleport staff. This thing's not necessary, but I really like it. So, empower, we were, we got stuck on the empower because of the mana diamond, that's why. Zirconium, malachite, manilium. Let's go diamond. If I can spell it. Let's go diamond. And then I also need blocks of diamond. 
stack is fine. Shift click is not <laughs> not good for me. Uh, we need empowered diamantine. We need 64 millennium. We need 64 zirconium and malachite. Malachite, we have zero. Wonderful. That stopped dead in its tracks. Malachite ore, I know we could sieve it. Crushed endstone. How do you crush it? You have to manually do it? Pulverizer? Oh, nice. Endstone gets turned into crushed in the. Ooh, in the sag mill. Crushed endstone. Because I know I have, I've had a heavy sieve as a quest reward for the longest, and I'm pretty sure it agitates a lot of people that I have not put it into play. All right, so the laser can get my uh, can get malachite, but I know that malachite is probably biome specific, but I don't know the biome off the top of my head. So I'll have to work towards getting some malachite going. I can get some mana diamonds going by using uh, Trin's mana pool. And then let's see, what else did we need? Ah, and I knocked over the microphone. I really need to get an arm, but I can't afford it. Uh, where was I? Power diamantine. Yeah, we need manilium and the malachite and the zirconium. Zirconium, we have 20. Zirconium ingot. Zirconium dust comes from, there we go, from diorite. It's, oh, okay. no, it's, no, rock crusher only, crusher, yeah, it's rock crusher only. So I'll have to run a lot of diorite through to get zirconium. Output 0 to 1 average 0.4, so 40% chance. We can do that. I can do that off camera. I'm just gonna run diorite through the rock crusher. And then uh, manilium, I should have it. Yeah, I got manilium for days. And then, yeah, put the single battery back. Diorite. And let's go basement. Where is he? Oh no. That's what I get for not paying attention, right? I didn't think he was gonna vanish. Maybe if I'm lucky he's running around somewhere. Where'd he go? <laughs> Maybe the cockatrice killed it. I didn't think that the dragon could climb out. Uh, maybe it did. Maybe it derezzed. But uh, I'm not going to let that get me down. I'm just going to jump into creative and grab another bronze egg. And then I'll do it again. And I'll grab the, the dragon that way. I don't care. I don't consider that cheating. It's my fault that uh, I, I didn't think that it was going to vanish, but uh, yeah, no, I'm not just going to not get my bronze dragon. Uh, so let's go time in a bottle. I'm going to end up doing this. Oh no, now it's pulling too much. Ooh, or let's see if this works. Should work. Bam. Just for now. No limit. Wow, fully tick accelerated. It's 430 million, or 1,000 RF. Maybe the buffer is just not large enough to be able to handle that much. 
Oh, because I'm also tick accelerating with the speed upgrades inside of it. So yeah, I'll do this. And then uh, I can leave the episode off with... Let's see... My other dragon. Just in case anybody was hoping for a dragon at the end of the episode. There you go. My baby. My green dragon. With diamond armor on, of course. Alrighty. So we made some amazing progress today. We got uh, our flux network going. Uh, that's super exciting. I'm so happy for the infinite RF wirelessly transferred now. I'm not going to have any problems. Uh, I don't need to. F I don't feel like I need to finish Ender IO right now, so I might backpedal and do some Batania, uh, or I might just keep this tech ball rolling and uh, unlock uh, Draconic Evolution, because I don't think I've seen any of the YouTubers uh, working out the Draconic Evolution right now. That and uh, I definitely have enough nether stars now to upgrade the void ore miner to tier 6, so I can do that too. But uh, leaving off on that, we had a great episode. Thank you so much for watching and tune in tomorrow.